Hello YouTube, welcome to another beer review. Back out on the porch for another Easter beer. Uh, it's Easter Sunday today, so happy Easter you guys. I uh, have two more after this one, uh, Easter beers to review and then that's gonna be it. This uh, Today's Easter beer is the Golden Carlis Easter beer, which should be really good. I've only had the Golden Carlis um, uh, Christmas beer and that was really really good and I like the label a lot like very spring looking with an Easter bunny with some Easter eggs some bells with wings and a the golden colors guy there uh, special thing about it well not really any it's a Belgian strong ale it's from Belgium it is on 10.5% alcohol by volume so this is a really heavy beer but I'm not gonna drink it all tonight uh, I'm gonna shove the cork back in and it's to be served around 6 or 9 degrees Celsius this is probably 10 or 11 I think but whatever uh, pretty cool looking bottle in my opinion um, special special I don't know if you can call it a special thing but thing about it is there's different versions of it or different versions from different vintages um, from 2007 to 2009 the beer was actually um, a blonde beer uh, or dark blonde and uh, the 2010 vintage, uh, the vintages before 2007 were uh, a very dark color but then now they've changed the recipe back but even though the color is different it should taste exactly the same um, but we'll find out what vintage this is by the color because it doesn't say on the bottle uh, okay get ready for a pop Decent amount of smoke actually. I know smoke is a filler, but when there is this much, it's just creeping out there. I just have to mention, wow, that's a lot of smoke. Using my uh, Goldenrack Vintage, it's really nice weather today. It's around 13 degrees Celsius, very mild, easy going. Sun is about to set, so let's end the evening with a nice beer. Okay, guessing this is the Bond version. It says on their website it's celebrable or dark blonde for about three years this one is best before 2012 so I'm guessing this is the <laughs> blonde version now difficult to say because I haven't seen the the blonde version before and the dark version but uh, it looks like a ruby red actually no. so I'm pretty sure this is the dark version no idea what vintage it is then but whatever, if they taste the same, that doesn't really matter. Uh, looks really nice. Uh, I'm just going to read the info now. And I'm going to go with the, the ruby red beer. Um, just one sec, guys. Dark sp uh, this dark special beer is brewed each year during the Easter period. It contains several types of malt, and during brewing, three herbs are added. Its ruby red color, its high alcohol concentration of 10.5% is full and balanced. Uh, its full and balanced taste make this beer into a source of vitality and strength, which will appeal to the demanding beer drinker. Uh, for I ideal tasting, pour gently in one pool to a temperature around 7 or 8 degrees Celsius. Served with pride, it is drunken with respect. And that's it. Um, I really like, uh, really like the color here, the ruby red. This is definitely ruby red. It's not blonde in any way. <laughs> it could be dark blonde, but I'll say ruby red. And there's a lot of floaties in here. A lot of yeast floaties. And a really frothy looking head. But tulip glasses are exceptional at making a good head on a beer. Um, but a tan, nah, off white head with uh, that ruby red color. Let's check out the aroma. Mmm, very spicy. Yeah, it's quite quite a spicy aroma actually. Um, there is that yeasty note as well, but it's not the most powerful aroma ever. Definitely yeasty. A lot of spice going on. Uh, what else? Some fruity notes, especially dark fruits. There is somewhat of a hot presence as well. It smells really good actually. 
but actually not the most powerful aroma of a Golden Carlos beer. The Christmas beer had a more powerful aroma. Yeah, let's give in, dig in, give it a taste. Ah, that is tasty. Mmm. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. Um, uh, golden. I've never had a Golden Carlos beer so far that it's uh, disappointed me in any way. I really love these dark Belgian strong ales. Um, yeah. First off, what I notice is a lot of dark fruits, like dates, plums, maybe raisins as well. Uh, and then it's quite spiced. Mm. Getting some clove. I actually get a bit of chocolate as well in the finish. Yeah, chocolate. That's really nice. Mm, it's got that yeasty, typical Belgian yeasty note. Mm, oh, this is tasty. Really tasty. And the alcohol is very well hidden. It is very well hidden. There's Well, there is a slight amount of alcohol in the taste, actually. But it's not boozy in any way. Mm. Like candied sugar as well. Mmm, this is good. The body, well it's not a full body, it's like a medium body. Maybe just a slight, slightly watery. Maybe that's because of the temperature, I don't know. Maybe it's a bit too cold. Even though it's around 10 degrees, I don't know. That's a really good beer actually guys. A really good dark uh, Belgian strong ale. Mm. But unfortunately it's only available Easter. In East, the Easter period. It's actually a bit bready as well. And I get like an, an earthy note. It's pretty good. Pretty fairly complex. Um, rating wise. Well I think I'm going to rate this a 90. It's a really really good beer. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, not as good as the, the Christmas version though. Uh, it was more spiced, it had a, more of a yeasty note, and I like when Belgian beers have a nice powerful yeasty note. But again, this is a beer that would go great with the Danish Easter lunch table with our fatty foods, like the pickled herring and the, the lamb or the the poultry. We sometimes get that as well. Uh, the eel, we get a lot of different foods, and it's dif different from family to family, but this would go well. Uh, the Golden Callis. Uh, Easter beer. If you get it, you gotta check it out. It's a really good beer. Um, I don't know if you can get it in small bottles. I'm pretty sure you can. But like most uh, of these Belgian beers, uh, the bigger bottles are better. But I don't know. Uh, check it out if you can get it. It's really good. And I'm gonna say cheers, guys. Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos. Subscribe if you like him. And I'm gonna say cheers. And I'll see you next time.